Hello everyone, this is Yom and welcome to Civil Raja, your gateway to future. So guys, first of all, I would like to thank all of you who has shown your support uh, by hitting the like button and sharing the videos with your friends. So now our subscribers are increasing day by day and also our videos are getting more views and that was my ultimate motive that my knowledge can spread out into the world and that can uh, help you to make a better career. So we are currently discussing about the Tecla Structural Designer. However, a few of you have also requested for the SketchUp uh, videos uh, to resume that uh, some of uh, has uh, like uh, requested for uh, interior designing videos. So guys, uh, like uh, hold for a while. Uh, first of all, let me complete this uh, Tecla Structural Designer series of uh, designing the complete building. After that, I will definitely come to the SketchUp and I'm also planning to uh, like uh, bring up the AutoCAD course where I'm going to cover the basics of AutoCAD. So soon those videos will be re releasing soon. And uh, for now, uh, so in this uh, particular series, what we have covered so far. So we have learned how we can model the G plus one building, then how we can just assign the properties of the beams and the columns and uh, what are the different things that you can do to change the uh, particular configuration of any a beam or column, then how we can assign the uh, like uh, slabs over there and how to uh, uh, give the live load and the dead load. These two things are uh, like covered up. Now, the next thing is about the seismic load. So in this uh, particular video, we will discuss about how to apply the seismic load on a building and how to apply the load combinations. Okay. So seismic load is basically related to IS 1893 and 2016 is a like a revised code for that and uh, for the like uh, load combination it is IS 875 part five. Okay. Now I am skipping the wind load. Why? Because this building is not uh, up to the height of 10 meters. If you are having some building which is having a height more than 10 meters, then you need to apply the wind load. Otherwise, you can simply ignore that. Okay. And that also depends upon the like uh, zone to zone of the winds. And uh, for the ice codes also, we have uh, four different zones, zone two, zone three, zone four, and zone five. So we are going to take up uh, according to that. Now, what are the are different scenarios for that. For that, I will come up with a different video where I will explain the IS-1893 and what are the things that are required to be taken into consideration before uh, like applying that into the like uh, software. But in this one, we will learn how to do that in the software. Okay. So this is particularly for the software because this is the series of Tecla Structural Designer. But for IS-1893, if you don't know that, then you can simply leave that in the comment section that, sir, please uh, make a video on the uh, like uh, how to study the IS-1893 and I will make a video on that. Okay. So I guess we have come to an agreement. Now let's go to the screen and see what we have to do in our Tecla structural designer. Okay. So here is the thing that we have already applied the imposed load as well as the dead load over here. So for the outer walls, we have applied the load of 12 kilo Newton. Okay per meter. Then for the inner walls, we have applied the load of 6.6 .6 kN per meter. How to calculate those loads that has already been explained in a previous video. You can find that video on our channel of Civil Raja. Okay. Now for the parapet, we have applied the load of 1.8 kN per meter. Okay. So this is a scenario of applying the loads. Now we have to apply the uh, like seismic load. So for that, we'll go into the load and over there, you can see we have the, uh, this seismic load over here and then we have the seismic wizard okay so we will click on the seismic wizard and a tab will open up with the name of seismic wizard where we have to select the code spectra otherwise if you have site specific spectra that is user defined one then you can also go for that but this is for the special cases suppose you are working on a site where uh, the codes are not valid so you have to like uh, keep into a special considerations about the site then you can go with this one but i will just go with the code inspector that means i am just going to follow the codes now the height of the building the maximum dimensions in the directions are already uh, like uh, implied over here now what we have to go for here is the this one so up to which level we have to ignore the seismic load so what is your superstructure and what is your substructure that you must know okay so super uh, structure is the thing where the particular building is exposed uh, 
uh, to the like vision okay so you can see the sub structure is uh, the structure which is inside the soil so till the plinth level that means this level we have this whole structure inside the soil so we are not going to consider any kind of seismic load on that so we will simply ignore that okay so we will ignore the structure till the plinth level this is my base level this is my plinth level okay so above my plinth level the seismic load will be applied below that since it is already in the soil so uh, like uh, seismic load will not affect this portion okay so the number of storage it is already counted okay so one two and then there is a headroom so that means it is three okay now uh, you can also decide on which zone uh, your structure is lying so if you want to know about that then in the is 1893 the zones are already divided or you can simply uh, google your location like where your zone is lying and you can simply apply that so i am going for the highest zone that means the highest uh, risk of the seismic load so is in the zone 5 and the intensity of the earthquake is more over there okay now if you want to uh, like uh, go for the site class like what is the type of the soil over there is it a soft soil medium soil rock hard soil in the rock hard soil though your structure will have uh, more stability so i am going for the medium one over here now there is the importance factor now this depends upon how important is your building and this is again defined in the code okay so i will uh, like uh, definitely comp come up with a video on that if you need that okay so for the residential spending it is importance factor is one for the schools and the hospital it is 1.2 and there are few specific buildings for which the importance factor is 1.5 okay now the zone factor is already calculated over here so this is the zone factor and it is already in the code so according to that you can simply come over here then the percentage of the damping if you want to change it then you, you can change it but in my case it is good for five percent okay so damping ratio is five percent over here now i will click on next okay so whatever the things i am discussing over here all the things are important so keep in mind whatever is like uh, being uh, discussed over here in this particular video if you have any kind of question you can simply leave that in the comment section also okay so and now we will go for uh what kind of a spectrum you want to use so i will go for the model response spectrum analysis okay however you have the other way of analysis also that is use equivalent lateral force procedure but these things are a lot technical and in the software we don't need that much uh, whatever the things are required wherever we have to make the changes that i'm explaining you okay now there is the structure type now for the structure types i will explain these points okay because it is important first point is rc MRF building without any masonry fills. That means it is a reinforced concrete building without any masonry fills. That means the masonry work is not taking any kind of load. Okay, so that's why it is uh, coming up like this without any masonry fills. That means masonry is not taking any type of structural load. Then the second is the RC steel composite MRF building. Okay, MRF means moment resisting frame. Okay. And now RC steel means reinforced concrete building is there and also there is the, some kind of a steel structure is there. Okay, so this is the combination of these two. So steel structure is also taking some kind of load over there. But in our case, this is completely RC structure. So steel is not included. If your project is having some kind of a steel in this, then you can go for this one. Then the next one is steel MRF building without any masonry fills. That means you have the steel structure and you are not using any masonry fill to take up the structural load. Then again, we have the buildings with RC structural walls. That means you have the reinforced concrete buildings and the structural walls are also there with the reinforced concrete. That means the basement walls, those are the RC walls, right? Then we have the fifth category as all other buildings. Like if you have any other combination other than these four that are specified over here so mine is rc mrf building without any masonry fills because i do have the walls in this but those walls are not taking uh, any kind of load structurally okay because all the loads are being transferred through the slab then uh, beam then column then footing and then soil okay so that is the way of the load distribution in my structure so i will just go for 
that one now click on next over here now we have the seismic force registering system that is in the direction so it is a moment registering frame direction so i will just go with the moment registering frame over here in both the sections and click on the next then what are the loads that are uh, uh, to be considered in this case okay so i am going with self weight definitely then the slab self weight then the dead load service loads so service load is also a kind of the dead load so service load is basically the loads of uh, what we say uh, the tiles the marbles and uh, the extra like a uh, plaster that we have to apply over there so that this can like stay uh, like intact okay uh, so these are the service loads then the imposed load are just the live loads okay so this is another name for the live load that is imposed load now uh, we can also include the location in not this but i am not going to include the localization that is not very much important over here so now we have this combination generator okay so what i am going to go over here is replace only the combination generated by this run and then we will go for the scenario of operating however we have the three different scenarios that is final and erection are also included but we will go for operating then click on next and over here you will see you have the working stress method you have the limit stress method so we will select only the limit state method over here and not the working stress method okay so you can generate which is the limit state method combinations over here okay so we can just go ahead with next over here and then click on finish okay so that's done over here now we will go for the load combinations okay so click on the load combination and then click on generate however there is a load combination over here but we will go for our load combinations so we will simply generate it and click on the next then we will include the limited state method because this one is a spared over here so i will include this one and i will also check we have any limited state method that is ls over here or not so no so i have included everything then click on the next then over here we can simply and click on finish okay now all the load combinations are assigned over here and now we will click on okay so load combinations are generated over here now we will analyze this and if you want to validate it then you can also validate this okay so let's see if it is the validation is okay or not so model is okay now we will go for the analysis and for the analysis we will go for analysis analyze all static okay so i am going for the uh, static analysis some are also some may also go for the response spectrum analysis okay that depends upon the requirement but in my case it is not very much required over here so uh, let's see now we have to design it so we'll go for the design and design all static okay let's see what will happen so some of the members may fail some of the members may pass so if it is passing it will come a green if it is failing it will come red if it is giving some kind of warning then you can just go with the yellow and if it is coming with some kind of warning then you can simply ignore that it is not a very like uh, thing to worry about okay so in this video we have basically come for uh, like uh, let's see okay so these two beams are failing over here okay so you can see these two beams are failing over here other beams are showing warning if i'll just increase the size then they will uh, like a stop showing the warning over here so that is not an issue and the columns i guess all the columns are passing so columns are okay in our case okay now these two uh, beams we can simply change the size and uh, just get rid of all these things okay so that is a, a very simple thing to do i can also do it over here but uh, it's better to uh, come up with a different uh, session on this one okay and uh, not just this one so i will just uh, start with our, our next session over here uh, where our two of the plinth beams are failing and uh, we will uh, learn how to make them safe and then we will go for the design of the foundation after that okay so guys i guess all the things are cleared in this session and uh, the so today's session was all about um, how to apply the seismic load and the load combinations over here and how we can uh, like uh, like do the analysis and the design so in our design uh, two of the plane films have failed but uh, obviously in the next session we will learn how to correct that because if you are making the mistakes and then you are learning how to correct it then you are going to be a 
correct civil engineer okay so guys that was all for today if you have any kind of question you can simply ask that in the comment section and if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel civil raja till then take care bye bye